So Adidas just dropped their catalog of everything coming out in 2024 and they have changed everything. Now, unlike our Monday video where Nike actually gave us hands-on of all their products coming out for next year, we don't have that with Adidas, we just have their catalog. Now, if you wanna check out this catalog for yourself, we will link it in the description down below and you can check out everything new coming out for yourself. So if you have any questions after watching this video, make sure to leave them down below right now and we'll try and ask the people at Adidas any questions you have and we'll hopefully see how it performs. So if you look at the catalog on the first page here, you can see at the bottom, this is the Zero Electric Plus and that is gonna be the prime knit version of those cleats. So that's what we were talking about last time here prime knit version. Now the only difference between these and the normal electrics is going to be the upper, it's going to be the exact same traction plate, and the amount of colorways that it's offered into a team is going to be a lot smaller, just white and black. Now these ones might look familiar to you. If you follow me on Instagram at footballers.official, you'll know that we actually talked about these a couple months ago, and that's because Garrett Wilson has been testing these for a while. So these cleats on his feet here are actually going to be the Zero Electric Plus cleats. Yeah, that's these ones here. So that's gonna be the new Prime Knit. And they said they're gonna be retailing for 180. Next page is gonna be the Adazero Electric. So this is gonna be basically the equivalent of the Adazero 13.0 or whatever it would have been for this year. So it's gonna be a really similar idea, new traction plate. We're gonna talk about all that stuff at the end. Let's see, we have the Electric 1.0. So the standard colorways are gonna be like a navy, a white, blue, maroon, red. Again, just team colorways. Adidas is always known for dropping crazy color packs at all different times of the year. So don't think you'll just be able to get your hands on them in these colors. It'll just be the other stuff. Here's gonna be the alternate colorways. So basically these are gonna be the white base as far as if you want a blue versus a navy. And then they have them in the opposite as well. So you get the navy as the upper and then white as the secondary color as well. So even for team colorways, still, 10 options, 11 options. Going through, we have more of this. Uh, the first one is gonna be the Zero Impact MD. MD just stands for molded something. Um, so that's just basically gonna be for like what younger people wear. It's just gonna be a rubber molded bottom and not the same as the other one. The next one is gonna be the Zero Chaos. So that's gonna be their Lyman cleat. Now this is the nasty. I love this Lyman cleat. This is what they had last year, uh, but they've changed a lot of things about this to the new one next year. And we'll see that they're again, team colorways, white and black, um, but they will have more sizes. Yeah. Eight to 14, basically tons of sizes, 150 bucks, not cheap for Lyman cleat. Um, next is going to be the Ad Zero Impact. So that's going to be the equivalent of the Freak from right now. As far as a training shoe at the bottom here, they have the Impact Flex 2, basically, which is Patrick Mahomes' signature shoe. They just cut off sales of the Impact Flex 1, and they're basically this year we'll be dropping the second version of those. At the bottom here, we just have their clear visor. It looks like nothing has pretty much changed, but it's a pretty small image. Uh, some sleeves, compression sleeves, football, and this is gonna be there showing you basically like a fit of what you could do. But now this is gonna be how these things actually work. So three models, at a zero, at a zero impact, and at a zero chaos. So the at a zero is gonna be electric speed, the impact is gonna be explosive speed, and the chaos is the unrelenting speed. As far as the properties on the Ad Zero, they're focusing on lightweight propulsion and a tailored fit, so really tight to your foot. Impact, they're focusing on responsiveness, support, and traction, which makes sense. And then on the Chaos, which is in alignment, they're focusing on having a lockdown fit, tons of stability, and lots of durability. Um, you can also see position-wise, uh, they break down the position profiles here. So uh, I do find it a little weird that a QB would be wearing the same cleat as an O lineman or D lineman. Maybe if you're like Tom Brady, but normally QBs would fit into the electric or the impact here, which which makes sense. So it's gonna be their lightest cleat ever, but now this is gonna be what they actually look like. So this is gonna be the Ad Zero electric and to compare, I do have a Ad Zero 12.0 right here. So you can see the difference between the two. Uh, the upper is going to be similar. It looks like it has a mesh underlay and then an overlay over top to kind of make that mesh a little more durable. It's kind of what I can tell. You can see the little holes in here versus the mesh that goes over top. Lacing structure looks kind of similar. They don't give like a top down photo. Uh, the tongue looks a lot different. The tongue on the new one looks like it's a lot thinner than this one. This one is a little thicker. So this one looks like it's a thinner tongue. So that similar to the Nike Speed. We have a heel blinker. The traction plate is also probably the most significant difference between the electric and the at a 012. You can see this is a one piece traction plate. This one looks like it's a two piece traction plate. So the blue part of the traction plate is kind of one piece that goes up and hugs around your heel. And then the front of it, I don't know if they move independently or how they work. Uh, as far as stud pattern go, you can see it's really different. So on this one, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the front, four on the back. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the front, three on the back. So different design with the heel. 
Um, and also on the inside here, there's a lot of little waves, a lot of little stuff and one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, you know, half studs where this has like no half studs in the middle, some kind of pattern along the inside here. And they might've done that for weight. I really don't know at this point. Um, so that's going to be the electric. The add zero impact is going to be their equivalent of the freak. Now it looks like a really similar traction plate to the other one. It looks like it's again, a, almost a two piece system. This is going to be the freak traction plate currently, uh, which I never quite loved. But here it is. So this one has on the front one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so they're going from nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One less up there. Four on the back, four on the back. Really different traction plate. As far as the liner, it looks like there's a lot higher sock liner on the inside now, which actually I love when they do their sock liner. So that'll be cool. Branding wise, bigger branding on it. Heel slingshot. Not quite sure what that means yet. So those those look pretty good. I actually think those will be quite nice. I like this kind of two piece sock liner too. It should be pretty cool. So this is the chaos. A couple things with the chaos you can see right off the bat. Number one, it looks like they got rid of the pellet protect, which I actually love this. I don't know why people didn't love this. I thought it was really cool. So a little sad to see that go. Um, also, as far as a traction plate goes, they've made a change. So uh, before this had the same traction plate as the Adidas Spark cleats, which I thought made no sense. It was too short. It didn't make sense for Lyman, where now it'll have the exact same traction plate, at least from looking at it, that the uh, impact model has. So I don't love that it, again, still doesn't have its own dedicated traction plate. I think the needs are slightly different of those two things. Having said that, at least it'll be better than the way it was before. Weight sub 13 ounces. Now it says that Lyman cleat and maybe this is why it's at a zero. Um, so this one I think is closer to 18 ounces. And it says this one is gonna be sub 13 ounces for a Lyman cleat is stupid light, would easily be the lightest on the market. So I can understand why they're going to the add a zero branding if they can hold true with that. I'm excited to see. Now this is probably gonna be your best matrix here for kind of what cleat you should be looking at. So they have the electric plus, the electric one, oh, it's just maybe sizes, I don't know the impact they don't have an inline version before they had a prime knit version of the freak which would be like the impact plus now and they don't have one listed here so i don't know if they're doing that anymore so you can see position wise now the interesting thing is on this chart you can see that the chaos is listed as for tight end o lyman d lyman linebacker however on the chart back here where is it it actually says that this one is made for qbs so a little confused maybe they forgot something they screwed something up not quite sure so that's going to be the chart this will be your best matrix of trying to figure out what position you should get for your data stuff so definitely pin this now we're getting to gloves so as you can see you can still get their existing gloves in their existing colorways probably for another year and that's because the at a zero stuff they were actually ahead on the gloves and behind on the cleats so this year they did have the at a zero 13.0 gloves even though there was only 12.0 cleats so these are going to be the 13.0 gloves these came out last year we have a review on them you can still pick those up however to get in line with their new stuff they're calling it the at a zero 14 electric basically to show you that these are going to be completely different so it looks like a lot heavier mesh on the back of hand than the other one. The branding is a little different, probably about the same size branding, I'd, I'd say on the back of hand, but some really cool color options on here. Uh, MSRP, $70. $70 for their new gloves. That is insane. That is charging as much as Jordan, which is like considered the most like premium of football gloves. Um, as far as just branding goes, 70 bucks is a lot. $70 is a lot. The Ada Zero padded receiver gloves. So these are the Ada Zero Impact. Uh, these are actually just rebranded. So we actually have them here. If you even see, look at the wolf gray colorway, literally the Ada Zero Freak 6.0. They've just rebranded to be in line with the other stuff. So now they're called the Ada Zero Impact. However, Freak 6.0, same gloves, same colorways, same grip on the inside. They didn't change anything. The last is gonna be the Ada Zero Chaos not new these were previously called the at a zero freak max no different now they think everything's more expensive now 70 bucks geez i don't love that they didn't change these these have been the same gloves for a couple years i've never liked the palm on them it kind of is what it is maybe they changed the branding maybe this is a bigger adidas on the back of hand but i would think that's about it as far as other stuff they have some sideline gloves some of their other scorch stuff their sideline stuff here lip protectors those would be the different designs on there it looks like they have this new goat design I'm assuming that's like supposed to be like a Patrick Mahomes baby goat type thing. I don't know. Mouth guard, carrying cases, custom products, back plates. Those would be the back plates for soldier sports. I'm not actually quite sure what that is. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. And we'll get to see all of it on the field and see how it actually is performing. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll check you next time.